Mr. Kennedy, thank you for joining our coverage here on NBC News Now. You didn't qualify for this debate as you didn't hit CNN's requirements of hitting at least 15 percent in four national polls or getting on the ballot in enough states. We should mention you hit three polls, but you didn't get on enough ballots. Without a presence on the debate stage, your long shot campaign seems to have just gotten longer. Will you qualify, do you think, for the September debate? Uh, I think so. We actually did qualify for this debate. We were in five polls, including four, one by CNN that had me over 15 percent. Uh, one of the companies, the Monmouth company, that was one of the approved 12 companies by CNN, um, CNN arbitrarily threw that poll out, even though it had me at 17 percent. Uh, CNN did not want me on the stage. They made an agreement with the Biden and Trump administrations or the staff to keep me off the stage. I was the only one who qualified even slightly for the um, for being on the ballot in two in enough states. I got 270 votes. I now have the signatures uh, sufficient to get me on the ballot in in states enough to get me 340 electoral votes. So I qualified. And, and by the way, neither Tr President Trump nor President Biden are on the ballot in any state. And they are not the nominees of their parties. So this was really Mr. just Kennedy, a, I'm, I'm looking at some. A, yeah. Uh, Mr. Kennedy, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm just looking at some, some stats here that were given to me here. But it says even your own campaign says you're officially on the ballot in just eight states. How would you get to 270 with eight states? Well, we have enough signatures to get on the ballots in other states, but they will not. Those states won't register us until some of them till August. We're on. The, you know, we have enough signatures. We were completely qualified. Most of them. We have three times the amount of the signatures that we need. But the, the states, you know, under their own procedures, do not register you until August. So they basically made it impossible. CNN chose criteria that, that we couldn't make. But we got a lot closer than President Trump or President Biden. They're not on the ballot in any state. Mr. Kennedy, what did you think of the debate tonight? Were you able to watch? Yeah, I actually had a debate that uh, I, I think 10 million people watched. Um, I had a, we had a virtual debate where I was on the stage with President Biden and President Trump, and it was aired live on X. It was live streamed simultaneously with the debate. So um, uh, what I thought of it, I thought it was depressing. I thought we, we have 341 million people in this country, and uh, it was a debate about, you know, that was filled with vitriol and the anger and the finger pointing and none of it talked about, nobody talked about the issues that really concern Americans. There's now 70 percent of our, the people in our country, we've had, a, we've had a nuclear bomb go off in our middle class. In the administrations of these two presidents, 70 percent of the people in our country are not making enough money to pay for basic human needs. You know, people, I run into people every day who are, you know, elderly people who are splitting their prescription pills to make them stretch out the, for the week, mothers who are, who are downgrading the ingredients to get out to the, the checkout line at the grocery stores, young couple, a young couple I ran into in New Hampshire who had a fight yeah. because they, they were arguing if your crying baby is $50 sick or $100 or $500 sick before they bring them to a hospital. Americans are not supposed to be suffering like that and and that has yeah. happened Mr. In Kennedy, I do, yeah. The... I, yeah i do want to ask you an important question at some point your campaign team comes back to you and, and says listen this is just not going to happen right we, we're not going to get on all the ballots you're not going to be the president who will you throw your support behind i'm not pulling up what i said to uh, to president biden is that right now i am the only one of the two of us that beats trump President Trump in a poll. So President Biden can't beat President Trump. But I can beat him. And the biggest polls are showing me beating President Trump. I beat President Biden 39 states to 11 states in a landslide. So I'm not the one who should be withdrawing from the race, and I'm not going to be withdrawing from the race. What I said is that yeah. I will withdraw. I'll take a spoiler pledge with President Biden that we'll, we'll both yeah. take a poll in October. And whoever of us is less likely to beat Donald Trump 
adverse will, will withdraw, yeah. and I will take that pledge. Mr. Kennedy, we, we only have a minute. I'm not familiar with those polls, but I'll definitely look out for them. I do want to ask you, nobody on this planet, may, maybe few people except for your relatives, know the importance of a vice president. You have chosen Nicole Shanahan to be your running mate. She was a, a lawyer from Silicon Valley. What qualifies her to be commander in chief? Uh, Nicole Shanahan is one of the smartest people that I've ever met. She uh, she's an expert in an area that I particularly wanted people, which is AI, which is one of the greatest threats and the greatest challenges that face our country. We can turn it into something very, very precious, or we can turn it where it will be a, very, a terrible peril for us. And the fact that we don't have anybody in our government who is an expert on that right now in the cabinet is a, I think, catastrophic. All right, Mr. Kennedy, we thank you for your time. We thank you for joining us. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.